Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 21st of September 2024. I hope you are feeling well and ready to enjoy your weekend. In some parts of the world the weekend is really underway, in other parts it hasn't started yet, but whenever you're watching this, enjoy yourself. Um, I have to tell you that even though it's only half past six in the a.m., I have already tried to play this game once and failed and I got right to the end you know with just like about half about half a dozen digits left to fill in and realized there was a double somewhere I had made a mistake earlier on and that was playing the game with candidates as well I either had made a false assumption or I'd put in a wrong number somewhere um, so yeah this is my second attempt uh, at the Guardian's expert level puzzle. Uh, I was saying at the beginning we never know how it's going to turn out to be so I think it's slightly trick, slightly trickier than, than normal. Certainly uh, I made a mistake somewhere and uh, so I shall replay the game for you with the correct solution coming up now. Uh, 1979 uh, I was very much anti-nuclear weapons um, but I wasn't quite so decided on whether or not I was anti-nuclear power, um, you know, because it seemed to be benefiting humans, uh, or trying to benefit humans, but of course the associated dangers were there. And then Three Mile Island happened in the US. And uh, I think uh, that kind of made my mind up from then. I've always, from then, and I've always been anti-nuclear power, even to today, even though many people who are in the Green Party have changed and pledged their allegiance to nuclear power because of the reduction in carbon emissions, stating that's more urgent. I just think that's the wrong way to go. Human beings definitely can't be trusted with anything nuclear. Uh, we need to get rid of all nuclear weapons and all nuclear power as soon as practically possible. Um, anyway, I was thinking also about the intersection between music and politics and how it's always played a part in my life. Uh, because at the the, at the time of the Three Mile Island, the big song was from Gil Scott Heron, uh, Gil Scott Heron, sorry, um, singing about um, the we almost lost Detroit, which was about a nuclear accident that happened a couple of years before that, and uh, it just so happened that that song was very uh, much in my mind uh, as Three Mile Island uh, events were um, playing out and the world was watching to see what would happen. Um, yeah, um, why am I mentioning this? Because they're reopening Three Mile Island after it being shuttered for five years. Um, and the reason they're opening it is to power Microsoft's AI needs. Huh. We're doing that for AI. <laughs> really? Uh, is it that desperate that we have to have that power from nuclear power for a artificial intelligence? Uh, I mean, artificial intelligence can bring about a lot of uh, benefits, I, I guess, but um, you know, it also uh, is being used in a way that's uh, not particularly beneficial. So I'm not sure that we should be reopening nuclear power plants for that reason. Right now, uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. As I said, I'm going to be playing it with candidates, so I'm not going to delay any uh, in putting in the pencil marks because I already tried it without pencil marks and got got stuck at a certain point and spent a long time thinking about it and decided to go with pencil marks and then still messed it up. So, oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's live, folks. Um, so I'm going to just get on and uh, put pencil marks in uh, after I've just done the easy digits. So we've got ones across like this. And a one down there that puts one into those squares there. There were quite a few easy numbers I remember, but like I say, of course I could have made put made a mistake in one of the easy numbers even. So 
sixes down and across there. Seven blocking down here and across there, put seven into one of those two. Seven blocking down here. There's the seven. Missing numbers here are four, six, and nine, I said last time. And uh, let me just double check because I don't <laughs> mess it up. Yes, it is four, six, and nine. Six and nine are there. That's going to be our four. Four across here, across there, and down there. Puts four into that square, four down here, four across there. Across there gives us a four there. Um, so I think I'm going to start putting in the, the digits. As I said, I don't see any reason to delay. I'm not going to be doing this without pencil marks anyway. Uh, it's too risky for me. Twos go there. Two blocks up there. Two blocks across here. There and up there. Gives us two in that square. Fours block like so. That gives me a pair of fours there. And fours up here and up here it means that we have fours in those squares. Ah, I think I may have spotted what happened last time. Maybe, anyway. Uh, fives. Okay, let's put in a pair of fives there since they're obvious. And fives are somewhere along the bottom row there as well. Sixes go here. By the way, I know I've got the six, nine, and two blocking down here. Uh, I know that already. Um six blocks across here and across there there's our six six blocking up here and across there gives us a pair of sixes there six blocking all the way to the top put sixes into those squares there seven across and up here means a pair of sevens are there Okay, six, nine, and two block down here, right? So six, nine, and two are going to be in those squares. So seven has to be here. We've got seven blocking the middle square, so sevens are also there. Let's do this two, six, nine, and two immediately, I think. Twos go there. Uh, nines block down here, so nines are there. And nines are also down there. Um, and nines are blocking up here and across there and there so we have a pair of nines there nine blocks across here and down there so nines go in those squares and then nines have to be somewhere there now what was I doing back to getting in order again sixes okay sevens are there Oh, I forgot to put my eights in. They go there. This is a pair of three and eight there, of course. Uh, now, what I worked out last time was that we have a six and nine pair there and a six and nine pair there. So we can remove that nine. Uh, 
Uh, am I missing anything on the pairs? First of all, let's just have another look. Yeah, three across and down there. So a pair of threes there and a pair of threes over here. I've got to put fives in here, haven't I? Uh, I've got to remove that five there, that's it. Okay, so uh, what I believe I discovered last time was that I ended up with a pair of ones in those squares there by doing this shoot here. So let's try and redo this shoot and see if it comes out to be true or not true. Um, so let's see, we've got ones blocking down here and across there like that. That could be where I made a mistake though. Ones are in those squares there three blocks down here so threes are possible there oh i forgot i've got to do that let me just put these nines in up here first of all uh, because we have our six nine pair here and here right um, but the eights are still possible over here so it's not that's not ruled out yet uh, right back to what i was doing here uh three four five six seven seven blocks across there and seven blocks down there so we get sevens in those squares and eight blocks down here so we have eights like this and nine is in situ uh, I'm not sure how I did this before but Oh, was there something along here? Was this a 3-8 pair or something? I think this was a 3-8 pair, wasn't it? Let me just um, do this again. One, two. What do we know about the threes? Threes. Uh, we know nothing about threes, so threes can go there. Four, five, six, seven blocks across here. Seven blocks down there, so seven in those squares. Uh, what do we know about the eight? Uh, I think nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I did have a pair of three and eight here. So this is not going to be a three or eight. It has to be a one. And so now we've got one blocking up here and one blocking up here and one across there. So indeed we have a pair of one and four in those squares. These can't be one. This can't be one. That must be one. I wanted to show you that with pencil marks. I could have said could have done it pretended I <laughs> found that without pencil marks but I did not I want to be honest with you three and eight are there three and eight sorry three and eight are not in there either and th eight is not there so we've got five seven and nine on about the bottom row now uh, okay so let's see up here now we've got a pair of one and two so three blocks up here so we and oh three blocks up here and three blocks up there so that's a three that's not what i did before oops uh, but now three blocking across here and three across here will give us a three there seven is in that square there four is in this square here four is there and one is there one is there nine goes there six is in this square this can be deleted that six can be deleted six goes there six has to be in this square here this block is complete nine goes there two goes there two has to be in that square nine has to be in that square nine has to be there no nine here thank you very much 
Okay, so the missing digits up here and here are five and eight, which will also make that five or eight. Any clue on that? No, so let's put in the five and eight candidates. And uh, down here we're looking for eights, still in this section here. So now we've got a pair of five and eight, so this down here has to be a three. This is looking ominously like it did before, which is not good because, as I said to you, I got it wrong before. Three is there, three is there, this is not three. I don't know what my mistake was. Three blocks down here, so that's a three. Uh, and this is not a three. And this is an eight. And this is a seven. Seven blocking up here and across there will give us seven in that square there. Got to get rid of these sevens down here. Uh, that has to be a five. That has to be a nine. This has to be a seven. We're looking for a three there. Oh, sorry. I'm doing it again. We're looking for a nine there. Sorry. Uh, eight in this square. Three in this square. I could maybe, maybe I just pressed the wrong button last time or something like that. I'm not sure. Seven blocks this square here. So that has to be a seven for that row. Five is the missing number here. Seven. Seems so much easier this time, I must admit. Um, but that's probably kind of because I'm guided here. I know what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, we've got five blocking this square. This has got to be an eight. That's our five. That's our eight. That's our five. Our eight is here. Our five is there. Our five is there. Our eight is here. Uh, what are we left with? Oh, still five and eight to get. That's the eight. That's the five. This time, no mistakes. Um, but uh, uh, it's much easier to play the game for me if I'm not trying to do the notation-free stuff, uh, which just gives me brain fog. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you around over the weekend. Bye-bye.